Hello, I'm yoga therapist Sally Dunn and this is part two of our Mindful Chair Yoga series brought to you by Dunleary Rathdown Libraries. So grab that kitchen chair and we'll get started. Great, so we're back on the uh, kitchen chair again and let's go back to our rocking. We remember this from the first, uh, the first part of our program. Um, so the idea, as if you may remember, is to feel the sitting bones as you rock from side to side. So if you place your hands on your hips, you'll feel the pelvis. Just down from the waist, you'll feel the bony parts, the anterior hip bone there. As you rock from side to side, you'll feel those sitting bones underneath you. And the idea is that we keep the majority of our weight descending down into those sitting bones rather than rolling back onto the tailbone. So really it's about sitting up tall. Take your back away from the backrest so that we begin to use the postural muscles to work with our posture through our yoga practice. So we're going to just sit now for a moment. Place your feet firmly on the floor. Hip width distance between your feet. Make sure your hips are at the back of the seat so that you can feel the back of the chair against your lower back, the back of your uh, pelvis. And we've got hip width distance between the knees, therefore we have this nice alignment of the legs, hips, knees, ankles. And the knees are directly over the ankles, so the 90 degree angle here. So this is all about alignment, all about good posture. So place your hands on your lap, draw your elbows in, sit up tall, with your chin level with the floor, not up and not too far down, so that the back of your neck is long. And this, of course, is where we hold a lot of tension, so back of the neck long. When you're ready, lean back into the seat and again, place your hands on the abdomen and on the upper chest. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, close your eyes and lower your head down as though you were looking down into your lap. And so we're going to center ourselves again at the start of our practice. So as we rest here now, we can feel the, the breath moving under the hands. And it's more likely you'll feel the movement under the top hand because when we're busy, when we're moving around, we have this more superficial breath that is up in the chest. It's called clavicular breathing. We tend to breathe up high when we're busy or particularly when we're stressed. So here in our centering, we're becoming aware of the breath, how it is for us just now. So just take three or four deeper breaths in, in and out through the nostrils. Notice where the breath is for you right now. Is it up in the chest? Or can we encourage the breath to gently, without any force, Gently bring the breath down into the abdomen. So feeling that expansion of the rib cage under your top hand as you breathe in and how it settles down as you breathe out. Now bring that top hand down to rest on top of your other hand, down about belly button uh, area. And as you breathe in and out, and as you begin to settle, as your weight settles into the seat, your breath may begin to descend into the abdomen. And this, of course, is the much more relaxing breath. Abdominal breathing brings us out of a stress state into a more relaxed state. So never forcing the breath, always keeping it nice and easy. If you don't feel the breath in the abdomen yet, don't worry, it will come. So you may just feel the gentle weight of your hands here. As you breathe in, the tummy fills. As you breathe out, the tummy softens back in. Just tune into your hips as you settle here, in the back of your legs. Feel your back leaning against the backrest. Drop your shoulders. Then tune into your feet. Do you feel your feet on the floor? Bring awareness to your feet by lifting your toes and spreading them, and then bringing the toes back down again. Maybe press the toes into the mat and lift your heels up. So maybe doing that a few times, just to get your awareness into the physical body as you press your toes down, lift your heels up, feel the action in the legs, heels down, toes up, 
and then rest your feet. So here we are now sitting very aware of ourselves, our natural weight on the chair, the hips, the backs of the legs, how our back is leaning into the backrest and how our feet are resting on the floor. And this is mindfulness. This is just being in the present moment, noticing the physical body and noticing the breath. I'd like you to imagine now that your torso is like a beaker, like a, a vase, a flower vase. And as though you were going to breathe in and fill the vase with water, you'd fill from the base all the way up to the top. So you're going to fill your beaker of water, your vase of water, with the water, with the breath. So breathing in, imagine the breath filling from the abdomen all the way up to your collarbones. And then breathing out, it's like you're emptying the water out of the vase as you allow the breath to leave the body. So see if it's comfortable now to have that picture in your mind of filling from the base all the way up to the top. And with the out breath, emptying out from the top all the way to the base. Let's try that for three more breaths. Breathing in. The breath fills all the way up to the top. As you breathe out, the breath descends and empties from the top all the way down to the base. So just continue now with your own breathing rhythm a couple more times. And we all breathe at different rates. So it's really about just finding what's comfortable for you as you have this image now of breathing in and filling from the base all the way up to the collarbones and breathing out, letting that breath descend. And then just let that practice go and just notice how you feel after it. It's amazing. A couple of minutes of just mindful breathing can be very, very helpful very helpful, particularly if we're feeling a bit overstretched or a bit stressed. So let's bring the hands back to the heart centre. This time let's bring the back away from the backrest. Let's find those sitting bones again as we rock from side to side. That's it. And so we'll just do some of the little movements that we did in the first part of our practice last week, where we nod the head and we turn the head, again looking for space in the top of the back of the neck, at the occipital ridge. And then very gently drawing a circle with your nose, keep it nice and slow as you rotate, and then rotate the other way. And then bring your hands together and warm up your hands, get that energy moving in your hands. Separate the hands there, see if you feel that warmth and energy as you rub those hands together and bring that heat and that warmth to the back of your neck and with firm but very gentle comforting strokes gently smooth over the back of your neck and then rub your hands again together and with the heat of that other hand again to see if it's comfortable on your shoulder of course to do this but just rubbing gently but firmly the back of your neck and you feel your little finger side of your hand pressing against the occipital ridge and the thumb is down at the base of your, of your neck. Very good. So that can be really nice just to help warm up and relax the muscles in the back of your neck. Let's do a few little shoulder shrugs now. Remembering we breathe in to lift, we breathe out to descend. Breathing in to lift, breathing out to descend. Let's go to the other side. And you could spend a few more minutes on each shoulder particularly if you have a shoulder that feels a bit achy. So breathing in up to the ear, hold it there. You're contracting these muscles, the top of the neck. And then as you release with the out breath, you're letting that shoulder drop, 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 drop all the way down. And it's often this unconscious tension that we hold in the shoulders, which makes us have the shoulders kind of half up all the time because we're kind of a little bit tense, a little bit anxious perhaps. And we often show that with our shoulders. So let's drop the shoulders all the way down. Both shoulders now all the way up. Breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up there. And as you breathe out, release, 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 release. Last time, breathe in. Press your hands into your lap. Feel that tension and then let it go. Consciously be aware of that feeling of letting the shoulders drop all the way down. Well done. 
So last time we were doing some forward flexion to 90 degrees. So we'll just do a couple of times either side. So breathing in to lift, breathing out to come down, breathing in to lift, breathing out to come down. And the other side. And we were bringing the hand back behind the hip. So let's do that with both hands now again, breathing in. And as you lift and breathing out, coming down. Notice the lift in the chest and the expansion across the chest and the collarbones as you go back. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Let's go out to the sides. This time, let's do it with soft swan-like arms. So lift the arms and bring the hands back down. Just warming up the shoulders, warming up the arm muscles. Gently breathing in and lift the chest and breathe out, let the arms come down. Well done. Bring the arms forward now with the palms facing. Just allow your left hand to open out a little, level with the shoulder, bring it back to the front. Breathe in, breathe out, the other arm out to the sides. So you're beginning to feel a little bit of a stretch on the inner arm, bring the arm back. Try that with both arms. Breathe in and breathe out. As you go back this time, could you let your hands go a little behind the shoulder level and lift your chest? Breathe out, come forward. Try that one more time. Bring your shoulder blades to towards each other as you lift your chest. Lovely. And then bring the arms in front of you. And this time, wrap the arms around, each, around you so that you're giving yourself a bear hug. And you can see my fingers are reaching round Breathe in, soft arms opening, lift the chest, breathe out, wrap. And notice you're crossing the other arm over. Again, breathe in to lift the chest, breathe out, wrap the arms the opposite way. This is going to stretch the space between your shoulder blades. Breathing in, open the chest, breathe out and wrap. Good. And if you would, just gently bring your chin down towards your arms with a little stretch in the back of the neck and then see what would it be like to bring your elbows a little bit down towards your lap as you flex the spine. Then breathe in, lift up, open out the arms and lift the chest and bring the arms down a little bit. So we get a nice opening feeling here. Breathe in here. Lots of space for the lungs to fill. Cross the arms the opposite way. You're going to fold down again now. Bring your chin down first, then your elbows rounding forward. Feel that gentle stretch along your back, all the way down the back. Breathe in. Now you're opening and lifting the front body as you let those arms open out. Lift the chest, breathe in. And one more time, we'll wrap again. We bring the chin towards the chest to get a little stretch in the back of the neck and the upper back. We draw the belly in, engage your tummy muscles, elbows going down as you round your back. Lovely. And then gently, gently, gently lift up again and let the arms come all the way back down. And let your hands rest. And just lean back in your seat for a moment. Let your hands rest on your tummy again. And just pause now. So it's really important to check in, see how you're doing as we go through our practice. So I called it the Goldilocks principle. Was it too much, too little, or was it just right? So lean back in your seat now. See how your shoulders feel after that mo movement. See how your back feels after the movement. How's your neck doing? Just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And you can always adapt these movements now. Make them a little bit less as you go through the practice. As you repeat and go back over some of the movements, you can begin to experiment by going a, bit, a little bit more full in terms of the movement. We're going to come to standing now. So gently allow yourself to stand up. We're going to take the chair. I'm going to take my chair to the side. You will just be standing to face the chair now in a moment. I just want to bring you into Tadasana, mountain pose, one of the really iconic poses in yoga from which all the standing poses are derived. So we stand, often you can stand with the feet together, but we're going to stand with the feet hip width distance apart, we're going to stand tall. So what we need to do is draw the shoulders back. 
So if I stood to the side, what we're looking for is the ear, the shoulder, the hip and the outer ankle to be in a reasonably straight line. So that really makes us lift the rib cage. So the shoulders don't round forward, we're drawing them back, using these muscles in our upper back to lift the sternum and nice long neck, chin level with the floor. So that's Tadasana, mountain pose. So now I'm going to get you to turn towards your chair. You're going to hold either side of the chair so that your shoulders are directly over your wrists and there's a bit of distance between your feet. You can decide how wide you want them. Your toes are in line, they're level with each other. And we're just going to sway the hips from side to side. Now, bend the knees as you do this. When you relax your knees, it's going to help relax the muscles in your lower back. So this is just a really simple thing we can do to ease out our back. Literally, I want you to imagine you've got a puppy dog tail out behind and you're swishing from side to side. So the upper body stays reasonably still. The movement is the hips going out to one side and then back over to the other side. So I want you to imagine that your puppy dog tail is swishing on the wall behind you, drawing a horizontal line. Good. And then bring your feet a little bit together and maybe a bit further back from the chair. Bend your knees. Bring your weight forward with straight elbows, shoulders over the wrists. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, stretch back a little way. Notice my hands and my feet aren't moving. I'm keeping my toes down and my heels down. But I'm getting this movement forward and back. Every time I come forward I breathe in. Every time I move back I'm sending my tailbone towards the wall behind me so that you get along here this stretch down your back and of course you're going to get a stretch in the hamstring muscles too. But the knees are bent so it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. But take your time, go to whatever level suits you now and use the breath. So when you come forward with straight elbows, bring your shoulders over your wrists, breathe in. You could engage your tummy a little, tuck your tailbone under a little and send your tailbone back. And you get this nice stretch down your back. Lovely. And then come back to just doing your little sideways swish with the hips. And these movements here, particularly now for the back, because we're doing an awful lot of sitting at the moment, aren't we? So anything that we, we can move in a very simple way to keep the circulation flowing through these very important um, back muscles, gluteal muscles, leg muscles, is very important at the moment to counteract all that sitting that we're doing. So we're back sitting in our chair again now. And we're going to bring our hips back into the back of the seat. We're going to rest now. Place your hands on your lap. Place your hands on your lap. Lean your back, the whole long spine, into the back of your seat. Maybe you can feel your shoulder blades pressing against the back of the seat. Let the shoulders drop. Let your hands rest on your lap. Feel your feet on the floor. Toes down, heels up, heels down, toes up. Good. And just notice how you feel now after that gentle back stretch. So very good now. We're going to wind down our practice now. So the last thing we're going to do now before we actually relax is to do a gentle movement with the right arm, lifting it forward. Turn the palm to face inward, so the thumb is pointing up and gently open the hand out to the side and if it suits you let the hand go a little bit behind you and then bring the hand back to the front let the hand come down other arm reaching up palm facing in a little bit of a gentle turn to the side come back to center bring the arm down once more breathing in lift breathing out notice how you're turning the spine a little rotation you decide how far the arm goes and then when you're ready, the other side, breathing in and breathing out. Bring the hand back to the front. Good. And rest. So now we're going to relax. 
So you've done a lot of work now with working on the shoulders, on the back, and it's time now to lean into your backrest, close your eyes, lower your head. Notice the weight of your hands on your lap with the palms turned up if it suits your wrists. Fingers are gently curled. Just let the breath come in and out through the nostrils if that suits you. As you lean back into the chair, can you feel those back ribs expanding as you breathe in? The back ribs, of course, expand as the side ribs and the front ribs all expand as we breathe in. But maybe you can sense the expansion in the upper back as you breathe in. And of course, as you breathe out, the rib cage softens back in again. So as you rest here now, I'd like you to count your next number of breaths. Next time you breathe in, count one. As you breathe out, count two to yourself. On your next in-breath, count three. Breathing out for four. In for five. And out for six. In for seven. Out for eight. In for nine. And out for ten. So just rest now, allow the body to be really relaxed on the chair, feel your feet, and we begin now to close our practice. So let's bring the hands to the heart centre. Well done everyone. When you're ready to, bring the arms out to the sides, lifting the hands to wherever suits you, bring the palms together and bring the hands back down to the heart centre. Twice more, breathing in and fully out. And last time, breathing in, drawing energy now for the rest of your day and bring it deeply into the body and we'll say Namaste.